guys today i will show you how to set up f3 tunnel vpn server step by step on ubuntu 22.04 lts version okay the best thing is free tunnel um, this is the open source there's no any cost you can use uh, and the ui base you can manage the users delete the users create the users create a multiple team and the, from the ui you don't worry about the how to manage the users and teams from the CLI it, this is based on the open VPN okay so let's start uh, our demo so first of all I have just set up the t3.small instance which is initializing state this couple say a couple of seconds ago I just created a new instance for you guys so it, this is the um, status of the instance is the past okay it means is the instance is up and running so let's um, go through our step by steps what is the requirements and how we need to set up the pre tunnel server in our Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So this is my Ubuntu server. So I, I just log in this server sudo su. So first of all you need to update your uh, newly created instance. Just the command is apt. The command is only apt get update. It's very simple. Once it's updated, then we will start our um, next installation process of the uh, pre tunnel on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This is very, very easy and straightforward. You can um, use in your small and enterprise level of this solution. Okay. So I just updated the, my Ubuntu and now the these are the few steps I will put into the all description box how you will need to do. Okay. So uh, step by step, I'm adding this is my sources dot list. Okay, I need to put into my um, Ubuntu. Okay, this has been updated. The next is you need to add server key and some APT key, which will be prerequisite. Okay, so this is also important. So I need to call some other um, uh, printer repo and uh, uh, keys. So is also important okay so now i need to add update the mongodb sources list because this is the base on the mongodb this is also updated so now i need to um, G, uh, pgp license update which is very easy okay okay and the next and final command is you can use this sudo um, <coughs> update apt update again okay so once you done, <coughs> you need to install WireGuard for the server support. Okay, so if you want upgrade, you can upgrade. But for now, I am skipping this step because we are already using up to date machines, uh, Ubuntu twenty two dot zero four. So just I copy this command okay, and paste here WireGuard and WireGuard tools. Once it's done, then I just disable the sudo uf2 service because this is the firewall in Ubuntu. If we enable it, then it might be possible we can face some issue to access our pre-tunnel from the URL. Okay. So this has been stopped. Okay. Disable and stop. So now I will install right now uh, is the pre-tunnel and MongoDB because this is the MongoDB base. You are all information user and teams and all information which you create it will be go into the, your mongodb and store into your mongodb so It will take few minutes probably uh, five to six minutes to set up the all steps sometime maybe less than two to three minutes depending on your machine and internet bandwidth connections so in our case it will take hardly one and a half minutes because I, we have a very good interface network interface okay so the next step is um, 
to enable your system CTL. This is your startup service. You want to reboot your machine and you want to uh, both services will come and start mode. So then you need to enable your startup service. Okay, both are start started. So both are enabled. Now I need to start both service. Start. Both has been started. Now I would like to check. Is it working? Running. Ah, both services are running status. Four seconds ago up and four seconds ago up. This is the pre-tunnel demo with this is the MongoDB server. That's good. So this is done from the server side. Now I just show you just first of all, I just copy my uh, server IP. This is my public IP. Okay. Just put into my browser. Uh, cool. So because this is give us a HTTP, HTTPS error, we will look after this while. Okay. First, we need to proceed with unsafe. Okay. So the, um, how you will get your setup key? So just you run this command on your uh, Ubuntu machine terminal. Just copy this command, okay, and uh, paste here, enter, and you will get um, a string. This is the your service first uh, first time key. You don't worry about second time. This is only uh, the first time required, and you save it. <coughs> Yeah, cool. So it, it has been done right now. Again, it will come on your main screen. Again, you unsafe, proceed unsafe. Okay. And now you need to get a first time your password. Okay. You just copy this command username and password. You want to get how, what is the username and password of your pre tunnel by default. Just copy this command, paste into your terminal, Ubuntu machine terminal. Just enter. So my username is printl and this is my one time password. Okay. So I just copy the password from here. Go into my browser. I just type pre-tunnel. My username and password is my this password. This is my first time password. After login, we need to set up a new password. So it will take hardly a few minutes, hardly one and a half minutes, and take to update each and everything for your dashboard. <coughs> So this is my uh, initial dashboard of my pre-tunnel VPN server. Okay, this uh, now I need to put the new password. Okay, and if you want to set up the Let's Encrypt certificate, then definitely you need to set up. Then you will remove this. If you implement the Let's Encrypt domain certificate. Uh, this HTTP error will be go okay so for uh, let's encrypt certificate required is the domain so I have already domain so I have set up my domain my cloud failure so my subdomain name is VPN and main domain is DevOps with pavan.com okay so I just put here VPN dot DevOps with pavan.com okay and uh, save it once I save it then I hopefully it will go. I can able to access from my name VPN dot devops with power dot com. So you can see the HTTPS error has gone. So now again I will log in with my username and recently set up the my password. Sign in. Okay. So I am login from my domain. I won't never use. Okay, not now. <clears throat> so here is your server you if you want to add server and enter your server this is my uh, pre-tunnel demo open demo server okay you want if you want you can add any uh, you can po add any port if you want it's up to you okay and add it okay um, if you want to add this server uh, security port, you can go. If you want to add any custom port into your server, then you need to enable the port in your security groups. Okay, in my case, I will allow all traffic, but in your case, you need to allow only specific port which you want to uh, use your uh, server. Okay, so I just add uh, my IP anywhere IP4. Okay, so I just add this rule and save apply. If you not allow this port, 
though might be possible you will face a issue okay and you can't able to do to update the anything so this is your custom port if you want allow only udp port then you can allow only this udp if you want uh, add any other ports you can add any other ports during your adding a servers okay but my case i just leave as a default then once you the server st still is you can see is the um, you must you must have to organize attach so you can't start until you know you never attach any organizations okay for here you need to go in the users okay <clears throat> add organizations my organization name is demo okay that's whatever you want to add is the devops it support developer whatever you want okay and now you need to add a user in your organization my username is uh, user1 okay or i can say is a devops okay and if you want to use the email address is optional pin is optional is up to you if you enter the pin once you connect from the client then you need to enter the pin okay but in our case i'm just leaving as it is okay add it so my is uh, user is attached uh, added here okay now again i go into the um, my server and i will attach the organization into my server this is my demo organization uh, this is my demo organization this is my server name okay printed demo server so i just attach it once i attach then you can see i have see this i let it green button to start server to click on the start so you will see bunch of logs here the sequence is initializing it will take hardly few time yeah the server is at your successful attached organization and your successfully interval changes okay so you are connect your server has been started <clears throat> okay and you can see the status is online 22 seconds ago and one user is there in the user section so now i would like to download the my key uh, you can use the several clients uh, such as pre-tunnel is also offering on client you just click on click on that pinpoint so if you want to download your um print pre-tunnel uh, then you can pre-tunnel use a pre-tunnel client if you want to use open vpn then you can download the open vpn file from here okay so just um, it will give you 24 hours once you copy the link it will be valid for the 24 hours after 24 hours it will expire okay so i just copy this um the file okay and just path and i just go into my browser and just download i will download the zip folder okay demo underscore devops this is my demo organization devops is username okay so i just go into my uh, terminal i just go into my new terminal okay so i don't need to use this server again so i am just going to exit okay so cd dot dot downloads okay so unzip mm. what is the name just let me check demo d is small sorry my bad demo underscore let me check the location of my file oh it's blocked so download suspicious file because this is a zip so yeah now again demo okay unzip so here is my ovpn file okay i just copy from um, demo underscore devops okay underscore pre tunnel to my um, dot dot desktop okay so i have also already open vpn okay i just click on the open vpn i have already installed in my open vpn into my computer you guys can add it okay so you just go here and the file browse your file in my situation my file is on desktop this is my file okay and connect this is my server ip and you can connect easily okay so i'm connected from the vpn and now i would like to check my all traffic is running or not so fast.com i will check my internet the internet is perfectly running fine okay i will check what is what is my ip.com okay so this is uh, you will detect you will see this is my pub server ip 223.105 and i will show you here ec2 okay instance and pre-tunnel instance 
to, to this is my vpn it means i'm connected from the vpn so now i would show how you you guys can um, enable the further settings so if you want to add some mfa or something like that then you can definitely enable the mfa and each and everything by using for the um, uh, ui base okay so this is our demo uh, for the pre-tunnels if you want um, more uh, videos and more technical session please uh, drop me the comments i will try to create for you guys thank you for demo